morning after the section football championship, Bear River beating Colfax by a score of 30 to 27. Normally I'm at a Costco doing my commentary and recap, but uh, this morning I thought it'd be appropriate that I'd be outside of my mailbox because the boys really delivered what was the most probably improbable, unlikely section championship out of all the sports in the history of Bear River High School. You know, a team that uh, didn't even finish in the top couple of spots in league, uh, a team that needed the final play of the game to stop center in the regular season just to make it to the playoffs and they win all three of their playoff games surrendering uh, a grand total of only 41 points across the three games they win the section title they earn themselves a norcal bowl berth win one game and they play for the state championship pretty miraculous uh, lots of game highlights and commentary uh, really proud of those boys, the community, the parents, the fans, the family members, and uh, the coaches as well. So let's check it out. They already beat us once this year. They stole a little bit of our roar. It's time to get it back. You got to remember, you guys are bears. You're Bruins. Bears sleep wherever they want. They eat whatever they want. They do whatever they want. Today we're going to go out. We're going to do whatever the hell we want to them. We're going to control this game, boys, from start to finish. Got to get our roar back. It's time to light the fire that's been built in your heart and restore the roar of the Bruin in us all. Bring it up one last time. If it has to be, say it like it, baby. Bruins on three. One, two, three. Bruins! Chiardi with a really great, empowering message before the guys went to the coin toss. This was important to me because in the coin toss, Colfax won it. They're an offensive team, so they decided they wanted the ball. That suits Bear River just fine. Had they won the toss, they would have chosen defense anyway and gone to the second half. So it was kind of like the best of both worlds for, for both teams. And the opening kickoff coming from Alex Bond. And we've had a little bit of trouble covering these kickoffs that don't go all the way back into the end zone. And they got a good return out past the 35-yard line. And quickly they tried to establish the running game, and there's just nothing happening up front for Mason Aarons, their star running back, who is a 1,700-yard back. Um, our guy's just stepping up, gang tackling. And on this first drive, I thought it was super important that they get in and get out, That's and they a lateral. did. That's a lateral! Almost thought this was a lateral here. You heard Coach Logue talking in the background there. But a three and out, so they have to punt. We get the ball back, pretty good field position. And we try to work the run, left side to Austin. And then working from the left hash mark. And getting Luke out on the move. Nice catch there by Scott. Made a few catches like that in the game. And then a good play here, Trey Moronic off the left side. This play was working all day long. And look at this, fight, 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 first down. Super tough run by the sophomore. Good blocking. Look at Nick's up there with the lettuce hanging out of the helmet. A little trouble in the backfield here. Baggett getting dropped by their defensive end. We almost lost the football, but then here comes the play. Turn up! Turn up! There we go! There we go! Quiet body. There we go! All right. Great speed. Really well executed play. So we take a seven nothing lead here. And this is what I mean about a quiet upper body. Just a nice cut. Look at Zimmer with the block there to get his head on the front side of 14. Smart move. And then watch Garrett Pratt. He's coming up next on the right hand side. Just enough to occupy number two to shield him. Trey with a little touch on the back. And just a beautiful job. Great touchdown. Great touchdown, great way to start the game too. And Alex Bond with the extra point attempt and it's good, Logan Jenkins with the uh, hold on that one. So a nice early lead here with less than four minutes to go. And here comes another one of these kickoffs. Coach Logue wanted it to go to the end zone, didn't quite make it, went to about the five and sure enough, he got a good return out of it. I remember at the time thinking, boy, you don't want to give them a short field, and sure enough, they did. Aaron's right up there, Baggett with a nice pop, but Aaron's able to get ahead for a little bit. We're just about the seven minute mark here. 
and they're still just going run, 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 run. And we're starting to gang tackle a little bit. Baggett and Carpenter over there on that one. Coach Logue saying we got to stop these guys here and you know, get a turnover or something just to make sure that these guys don't match a score for score. Back out! Up! Strong! Aaron's right at the middle. Again, good work on the defensive front. Aaron's again. That play's not going to work. Now on fourth down, he didn't outside, make it, did he? And Aaron's does not get it. So he's down to about our five yard line, but he's a half yard short. And a turnover on, on down. Super important. We're inside the 10 yard line. We go Zimmer first for about two. Up got to about seven. two. They think they got a big hit, but wait till they see what's coming. Watch this. Reverse. Good call. Call the Cundy. Oh, he's man. still going, still going, still going. 93-yard <laughs> touchdown. We talk about touchdown. a gutsy call. Coach Baggett calling the first play inside your 10-yard line. And Cundy with what will forever be known at Bear River High School as the, um, I mean, it's just amazing just thinking about what he did here. The tightrope touchdown is what it's being called. And right away, look at 23, their defensive end getting sucked in. He can't make the play. Now here comes Baggett, the quarterback, knocks out Aarons to free him up. And Cundy just going, going, going. And look at the tiptoe. Oh, there's one. And he ends up making 10 steps here. Look at the green between the toe and the sideline there, just a couple of inches in that instance. And now here come the arm swings, one big arm swing. And a tiptoe, I mean, this guy is walking the tightrope. You gotta remember too, his left abdomen, he's had a torn muscle in his abdomen for weeks now. And look at this, here's windmill number two, still just tightroping the sideline. Windmill number three. So we punch in here, and he is just like a ballerina. Pretty tough ballerina, too. Look at this kid. All the way down the sideline, 93 yards, and we go up by a touchdown. Now, we missed the extra point. It's kind of One. a big deal, so we're up 13 nothing. A little over four minutes to go. And now we're going to go pooch kick. Vaughn gets catch. it. Now, this is weird. The number eight did the fair catch signal, but the other guy caught it. Anyway, uh, Koufax will take it away. there, Good right job, up the middle man. there. I think that was young Jared Bays with the knockdown right in the middle of that uh, pass play. Koufax now taking yeah. to the air. They abandoned that run game ball, ball, ball. on the second drive, and Cundy had a great it? team get oh, over him, but short. the pass was badly thrown, so it's incomplete. If we watch this again, it's a good little throw on the move here by this quarterback. And Cundy just doing enough to get in the way of 18 to knock that ball down. Could have been a big play. Reverse! Now, Reverse! they go back to the run. This time, they're going to Reeves. Number 10, he was a good player that day. God dang it. And look at the size of this hole that they were able to open up. And thank goodness that nice breakdown there by Zimmer at least to buy some time for Baggett to get over and force him out of bounds. So that was an interesting play right there because you thought maybe they're gonna go back to the running game since they had opened that thing up. Instead, they go to the air. And this is a 3,000 yard quarterback almost on the season. Well, by the time this game was done, he had 3,000 yards. Uh, and he used to fleet a foot too. So he got out on a scramble there. And he's cross midfield now. Back to Aaron's on the ground. Hey, Megan. Davis is in there. On that tackle. Back to the air. Well, I got five. Come on, we gotta have to make another stand here. We're in zero. I need a pass rush. If they're in double tights, are you taking 23? Yeah, pass rush is what they need, and they didn't get it really early on. They had all time in the world. 
Another catch here on the left side. He's able to break away just a bit. Travis is able to run him down along with Pratt. But they're on the move, trailing 13-0. Oh, Leonard almost got that ball to try to knock it down. 18 with a good catch, but he's out of bounds by about a foot. But look at this play right here with Leonard. Looks inside, then get up, Sky King. Almost knocked that one down. That would have been a beautiful play. And it was a great catch, just a little bit out of bounds there. So a little about two minutes to go here in the first quarter. And now we go back to the pass again. Hyman over the middle, the quarterback. Complete, put a good tackle right up the middle there. Now they come with a reverse, trying what we did earlier, and they had some success. And look at Reeves, all the way down inside the 10 yard line. Now we gotta go to the goal line set. And here's Aaron's left side. Able to stop him there. Good job there by Carpenter. Here we go toward the end of the first quarter. A little play action pass. Allberg with good pressure, but what a catch. Aaron's slipping, but still able to make this catch here. And this was a tough play. Just past Carpenter, and Aaron's falling away. Makes a great catch. I mean, you can have good coverage or not good coverage, but when you make a great play like that kid did, you're going to score a touchdown. So they get the touchdown and the extra point, 13-7 now. And here, this is a little play, but a big play. Garrett Pratt, fair catch. Give us nice field position across the 35-yard line. Small plays, important things. Bag it on the scramble. Puts his head down. Now we're into the second quarter, switch sides. Here comes Cundy on the sweep, able to cut it inside for just a little bit. 23 was super active. Try to run away from him a little bit. Now, Trey Moronic, look at the sophomore. Cut, cut, tough run. It takes three guys to bring him down. They also got a face mask. Guy ripped him across the face mask, so we get the penalty yardage as well. Now Bays gets high load right there and is able to get a couple of yards. But here we start just chunking away. Look at this, Moronic. It's another five yard pickup. I mean, when you've got three, four, five yards of play on your worst rushing attempts, you're gonna do good things. And here comes Pace. Look at the big back. Nifty too, able to cut inside of that one tackler and get inside. Nice blocking there by Moronic. Zimmer with a lead block on 24, the corner who tried to step up early. Runs right through Aaron's tackle. Bays down to inside the 15 yard line. Here comes Zimmer, a little inside handoff. Still about the 14 yard line here. Baggett gonna try to do this throwback. Not much there, so he's just gonna scramble again. Big pop by 58, but Baggett doesn't go down. Now you gotta prepare the field goal team just in case. Look at this hit. Mm. Helmet to helmet. All right, here comes the field goal 26 yarder, I think it ended up being. Alex Bond, good. How about that for the sophomore? Great job, kid. Great job. So we're up 16 to seven. Colfax now on their next possession. Carpenter and Bays just doing their thing. Even Davis trying to stand his guy up, so they got some extra support there. Trip over the bodies below. I almost thought they were gonna call a penalty on that, but they did not. Second and six from the 41. See, it looks like they're down to about the 36. I may have shot that sign odd. Incomplete pass there. Hmm. Moronic with good coverage on Reeves. Play was over the top and had to have been a perfect pass to complete it. But good tight coverage there. Not letting the guy get on top of you. Zimmer! Zimmer! Tight end delay, 
Zimmer tight end play. Play here. Yeah. Oh. It's fourth down play. They incomplete the pass. We're going to get the ball back, and they call a penalty right there. P.I. First, I thought they were going to call it on the knockdown, but they're really getting him for grabbing that backside shoulder, and I couldn't see it at the time. I thought it was a bad call. I think it's a good call now. But an opportunity where we would have had the ball back. Instead, you know, Colfax is going to do their thing now. And Aaron's on these inside runs just love to bounce him outside. Down to about the five. <laughs> Carpenter just squared him up. We we're going to stop him short of the first down there because that was third and one. And I think on the initial hit, had he had gone down right there, Carpenter squared him up good, but he fell forward just when Pratt banged him on the left side there. And fell forward for a yard and that's all they needed so it's first and goal now inside the five yard line and I think this is again is the situation where Aaron's likes to bounce it outside and sure enough into the touchdown so he's got the first two touchdowns one receiving and one rushing Cundy made a good effort to try to get him but Aaron's just had too much of an angle there on the good side and the Falcon fans like that so it's 16-13 right now And I can't remember if they made the extra point or not, but to check on that. Look at Cundy on this return. Just a great job. Short kickoff return, make him pay. Look at him set the wall up here. Oh, just a brutal block there. Trey Moronic on 15, just clocked him. Look at him coming from afar here. Boom! Nice physical play. Inside the 35, great starting field position. And about the, what, 32 yard line. And look at Baggett, on the money. Pratt with another great catch, Weir 24. Too slow on the coverage, nice release. Look at Baggett, step forward, beautiful delivery. Man coverage, great play, just a great play. Now back to Moronic, that sweep on the left side, perfect time to cut. And again, we're looking at an eight yard pickup on first down, it gives you so many options. Now the next play, there's Moronic, again, all you need is three, four yards, got a first down on two plays. See what we had on the blocking here. Oh, look at Davis inside and then the double team. I mean, just, just eating up those inside guys, allowing Moronic to get outside and then cut back in. That's a nice job. Now we go Bays, right side. He's inside the five. And we're just pounding him with Bruin football here, up by two points. And that was Carpenter. Brought Travis in to try to punch one in from short yardage. He couldn't do it. So quickly get to the line. Boom. Bag it with the sneak. Touchdown. I think at this point, we are surprising Colfax at how much offense we're putting up. 23-14 with under two minutes to go. This was a big kick, though, here. We did not get a good squib kick. They get the ball at midfield with under two minutes to go in the half, and they go on a drive. It was, it was a costly mistake. But then, boom, you get Calder Cundy here with the interception, and we might get another score with a minute and a half left. But a penalty as flag is down. And initially, I think they said it was pass interference, and then they changed it to a hold. And I don't know, it was a shocker, whatever it ended up being. Uh, unfortunately, it was off camera, couldn't see it, but a nice high point interception there by Cundy. But needless to say, it was all for naught because of the penalty. So we had an interception taken away because of a 
pass interference call and that earlier fourth down turnover on downs that was nullified because of a PI call. And then this guy got free, 18. We thought the quarterback was going to scramble. Cundy slipped up and they were in business again. Quick completion out to Reeves inside the 10 yard line. I'm sorry, that's 18 again. Try Aaron's right up the middle. Great job in there. Becker, 50. Nice job. Aaron's left side. You got Baggett and Leonard over there. But then they get an easy one right over the top. Cundy really had two guys out in his zone there. Tough to play either the short guy or the deep guy. And that's the hard part in that coverage there. Moronic kind of in no man's land there. And Cundy did his best to try to get it. But look, that guy didn't even catch the ball. It went through his hands, bounced off his face mask. Then he's completely dropping it right here around the midsection. But his knee is up, and that is what saves the football for him to be able to get his arms back around it. Touchdown. So you go from a situation where you could have tacked on another touchdown to our 23 points off of that interception. Instead, they come back just before half. They get the touchdown. They get the extra point. And now it's 23-21 with under a minute to go. And we might have some options depending on the way the return goes. And again, great job here by Cundy to come up to the 25 and get a great return again. I thought for a minute we were going to pop that one pretty big. So now you have options to try to get some good yardage, burn up your timeouts, and see if you can get into field goal range. Here's midfield. Watch Baggett here. Look at this. Oh, he's sacked. Nope. Oh, he's, nope. And then he gets rid of it and almost completed this football to Moronic. There's too much traffic with Moronic and Cundy and all those defenders around there. But let's take a look at the Baggett escapability here from midfield. Here's the play action. Stuff just breaking down. Misses two guys there. There's a third guy that misses, wipes out his own guy. And then to square yourself up to throw this back across your body to get enough air on it. Wasn't picked, but at least it stopped the clock. And the coaches could make a decision about whether they wanted to go for more points or not in this ball game. And I think they said, hey, if we got the timeouts, let's go ahead and see if we can pick up some yards. So they hit Scott on the right side. And then... They're going to try Moronic on the left side. Now decision time. You go back to the air, see if you can get enough yards to get into field goal range. Instead, they run a wheel route, and Moronic almost got to this football. Aaron's, the deep safety for the Falcons, came in late. Moronic almost got it with the extended arms, but... I think he said after the game he was trying to actually get an offensive or a defensive PI call sort of by putting his body into a, that safety position. Let's see if we can get a foul call, but it didn't happen. So the Bear River Bruins go short to Scott with a completion. Now Baggett one more time looking to pick up a few yards. Nothing doing there, so he's out of bounds. And now we've got about a 46-yard attempt by Alex Bond. Comes up just short. And now it's halftime. And the guys to talk to figure out what changes to make. They're up 23-21. Doing a pretty good job against the run. He's bouncing weak side. He's going up to the line and bouncing to the weak side. Talking about Aaron's. Asking the guys to get in there and get some defensive pressure on the quarterback. Okay. We're one step from popping those kickoffs again. Let's pop one, let's get a touchdown, and then we get a turnover. They got a couple lucky penalties to keep drives alive. And no big rah-rah speech at that time. 24 minutes left. All you gotta do is dig down deep for 24 minutes. Just a couple of... I'm, keep running the ball, keep pounding the ball, keep it away from them. Basic reminder. You gotta hang tough. If you wanna win, you gotta dig it, dig down, man. 
Starts with a kickoff return. Here we go, Bruins. One, two, three. They come out at halftime here. Now remember, Bear River lost the coin toss, so they get to um, receive in the second half because at the time, you know, Colfax said, hey, we want to put our offense on the field first. Bear River, like, no problem. Uh, they huddled over on the sideline here. Calder Cundy was in tears, um, just trying to fight his way through the injury with the abdomen. And so the guys gathered around him for a prayer. And then it's Pratt again with a great fair catch. And the Bruins' first offensive play is a penalty. So the motion brings us back. And then a scramble that gives us nothing. Try Moronic on that sweep again. Is he able to get a few? Now we're pushing toward midfield. We've got, got it. Bay's able to pick up a first down. And this is what you want to see. You want to see Bear River have one of these long drives to start the second half and leave no doubt. This is going to replay this for you. This is Moronic inside. Nice blocking the double team inside. Sam Davis with a lead on number two to get an extra yard or two for Trey. Now it's back to Bays on the right. And can't remember what that was. It was maybe on a quarterback sneak, I believe. But there was a penalty. and Now Moronic trying to work that left side again. So we're driving. We're doing okay. Look at Moronic again. Just a workhorse. Nice block down by Zimmer there. Good kick out by... Hunter Daniels. Now Baggett looking for somebody, but he's sacked. 23 out of game, offensively and defensively. Stud. So now I think this is third down and a long way to go. Able to get one over there. I think that was Davis again. Good on those lout routes, but not nearly enough after three penalties on that drive. And now Bond's got to come in to kick. And the punt actually ended up being a good one. Inside the 10 yard line at about the nine. Colfax goes to work. Nice pass. Zimmer just one step off, but that was enough with a good quarterback. Aaron's up the middle, Zimmer and Davis and Carpenter. I almost thought Carpenter ripped that one, but the whistle must have come a little bit early. So remember, Colfax is only trailing by two at this point. We just biffed the first drive of the third quarter. Colfax is trying to get something going, and then a nice defensive play there by Zimmer. Doesn't let 23 beat him that time. Knocks the ball away. Ends up being a punting situation. We get it back, and now we go double pass, or a reverse, and then a pass to Baggett, and almost made the touchdown catch, but then Colfax almost made the interception. Watch this again. Here's Baggett, who had slipped out of the backfield as the quarterback right in his hands but it went right through, hit him in the helmet, and look at number seven's concentration. Tip, tip. Think he's gonna catch it because it's right on his face mask. And I think there may have even been a little swipe by Scott to have touched that ball and knock it loose. So huge break there for Colfax in that we didn't get a touchdown, but then huge break for us in that Colfax didn't get the interception. So we go back to the ground with Austin Bays. He ran really well, down to about the 20. Now we're in the red zone. 
He obeys again. About the 16. That left side of the line was just doing a great job all game. Now we go right side. Not much there. It's worth the left again. Here comes the sweep. Moronic again with a nice cut back. Down to the 13. And, oh, that was fourth down, I believe. I think that was fourth down. Yeah, almost hit Moronic, but instead, it's Colfax football. Their quarterback is able to get a good scramble. So we have two third quarter possessions that turned out to net nothing. And Colfax is thinking, we're still only two points behind. We really need the defense to step up. There's an incomplete pass, but they're going to call a defensive penalty. And let's watch this. Watch 23 on the left side of your screen. Hit Calder Cundy from behind. A total pick play to spring 18. Meanwhile, number 10 comes across the formation, tried to catch it, but they ruled that is incomplete. But they called it a holding penalty on Cundy. 23, the guy that took it in the back from there pick play in what was just a terrible call. So the Colfax drive is still alive and they're mixing run and pass. Right up the top there and 23, another pass interference call. Look at this. Zimmer, this guy's maybe a foot taller than him. I think that's just great coverage. If they call that little right hand on the hip, that's kind of ticky tack for my liking. Here we go, Aaron's outside, and here comes Carpenter, and slung his guy out of bounds there, and late hit, 15 yards. Now we've got, what is that, five or six penalties in the first half of the third quarter? And go back to 23. A minute left, third quarter. Aaron's on the draw and just snuffed him. Look at Bays, Bays, Pratt. Others right in the middle there. Missed an opportunity there. Look at this. Oh. Third down play right there. And their receiver Reeves just couldn't pull that one in. So they go for the field goal to take That's the lead. No no and the good. guy hooks it. And so we flip sides. Got it. and begin a drive. Yeah. And this drive ended up eating up half of the fourth quarter. It ended up being a 15-play, 80-yard drive. And this was play two. Zimmer gets a pass, and then he has the run. Now he's going inside handoff, and there's Moronic again, just fighting. This is vintage Bruin football here three, four yards at a time, imposing their will. Now to Cundy. And he's able to dive ahead for just a little bit. Boy, if he didn't get his shoe tripped up here by 23, mm, could have gone big. Exactly the kind of drive that you're looking for here. Just chip, 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 chip. There's Bays. Zimmer again. Moronic for a few. Now Cundy wide, but he was able to turn it up inside. Good thing too, because I think 23, their defensive end was sitting out there. Zimmer for a few. Short yardage, third and a half a yard. Third down, about a half yard, as you heard Coach Logue say. And here comes Bays. They're not gonna stop this. So Bays all the way to the end zone, but they say he went out at about the one yard line. Now you go bag it inside, quarterback sneak again. No. 
fumbled the football, able to recover. And now you go back to base. Boom. Touchdown. Alex Bond with a huge extra point. That was big because then it made it a nine-point game. That means that Colfax had to score twice. So 15 plays, 80 yards, and you eat up more perfect, than half perfect, of the fourth perfect. quarter. Perfect. That's perfect. Nice little pooch kick there by Alex Bond. But then look at this pass. Oh. Right on the money to O'Keefe, 23. Just a perfectly thrown ball. Great extension on the catch. It's hard to defend that. Their leading receiver. So they're up to the 35-yard line now, trailing by nine. Quarterback keep. And Carpenter able to push him out of bounds. They're going to stay on the air here. And that was a big play. Scott with a nice tackle in defensively. Hey, they don't score. Come on now. We got to have a pass rush. Keep him in the pocket. Four minutes to go. You can do it. Come on. Give me a pass rush. Four minutes. Coach Logue telling the guys what he needs. Another pass play here. and uh, 18. Big tall kid. Matching speed with Cundy. Just could not get there. So still a nine-point game with four minutes left. Fourth down and 14. And you think if the Bruins stop him here, it's going to be a ball game, right? Look at all that open space. Oh, scramble. First down, smart quarterback play. Able to sit it down at about the 30-yard line, I believe. And then they come back with a pass play, and it's 23 again. O'Keefe. Now they got second and five from the 15 with 3.49 to go. And there is a huge play. And Moronic knew it. We caught a big break here. Look at this pass delivered perfectly to Reeves in his hands. This would have been a touchdown to bring him to within three points, and he just dropped it. But kudos to Colfax. They didn't wait long. Next play. Look at this catch. <laughs> One-handed catch, and they called a pass interference on Calder Cundy at the same time. Maybe a hold. But look at that. One-handed catch. That is impressive. What was weird is they called the pass interference... They say the touchdown is good, and then they ended up enforcing the 15-yard penalty from the pass interference on the kickoff. So there was no impact on the extra point attempt uh, that followed, but they enforced a pass interference call even though they declined the penalty because they accepted the touchdown. It must be a weird thing about the rule that I don't understand. Anyway... The reason it's important is it meant that Colfax was at midfield trailing by three and they'd have a perfect opportunity for an onside kick. And this was a huge play. Trey Nix. We got it. Great job on the hands team. And now we just need to run out the clock. So what do we do? We go to Bayes. And now the timeouts start getting burned up on both sides of the football. You can see the time, 320, uh, 329 to go. Second and seven from the 38. Back to Calder. Going to be protecting, on, protecting. Now to Moronic. Listen. Power play. We are foot to foot. They're going to stunt the linebacker. Backside has to gap right. Fourth and one from the 44, and if we go for it and get it, you think ball game, right? He got it! Of course. Yeah. Bays gets it. Couple of yards, huge play. 
Now on first down, Bays again. Just grinding clock. Now we go the other side. Bays against about three of their guys. Now third and eight, 49 seconds to go. And it's enough time on that run to get it to the point where the Bruins would not need to do seconds. anything. It's over. Right here. Other than to take this fourth down play and just run out some time. And Baggett does just that and then this. We did it. We did it. Congratulations. Oh, you got it, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. Get it. I fucking did it, man. I don't know how you beat him. I don't know how you did it. Oh, my God. I fucking did it, man. Unbelievable. Let's go, bro. You got a ring, buddy. You can't quit on me. Unbelievable, guys. Coach Savoy, we won the section. <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe it. What a bunch of ragtags we won the goddamn section. Unbelievable. Great emotion. Third section title for Coach Lowe. Oh, man. Coach Savoy. Z-Man. I'm so glad you were here. <laughs> Son too, Zach. Bob. Damn, Damn you it's an awesome. honor to be with you, Coach. An honor to be with uh, you. What an effort by everybody. Overachievers, I'll tell you that. Oh. You are the first Bearer team going to a bowl game! I like the sound of that. Yeah, baby. To the victor go the spoils. Love the black hats. <laughs> We've had great teams. We've had section titles. But to beat a team like that and, and be down to you know, our last breath against Central High School and then all of a sudden four straight weeks against great opponents, you know, I can't say enough about it. It's a bunch of hillbilly kids that play their asses off. Tony's one of the best offensive minds in, in, in the section. But uh, today was our day. We, we did it. We, we stuck together. We hung together, made the plays when we had to. And we're walking out of here champions and the school's first ever bowl game. And your kids play so strong, but tonight Trey Moronic stepped up on offense. He's been playing great himself. the last. Yeah, Trey, the last four games has been unbelievable. Offensively has really stepped up his game. He's a sophomore, plays his. Calder Cundy's had a real sore stomach muscle. He got it up. Mm. Our line played great. Defense did phenomenal. You know, and so we came into this game just feeling like we had to be able to run the ball. I think Trey was a big, big part of that. You know, that fly really helped us, and then the fly reverse mm -hmm. coming off of that for the touch. Was you that know? Luke who had the lead block? On that? Yes, yeah. it was. How's that yeah. for a complete quarterback? Yeah, he's yeah. that wow. kind of guy. He's a tough. <laughs> he's a tough quarterback. Not the greatest passer in the world, but man, gets the job done, leads the team, tremendous in the secondary. Well, he, he, and his dad beat up too. I don't know if you noticed, but on that last uh, uh, quarterback sneak, he got banged up a little bit, but you know, just just sucked it up and got uh, it done. Jeff, you know? Coach Baggett did a great job calling our offense. I think he did a superb job. I just great game. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that, especially in a section championship. I, I just can't be happy for my dad. He, he worked his ass off, and he just... He, the two Logue sons. He deserves it. He's, he's worked his whole life for stuff like this, and he deserves every moment of enjoying this moment. So well, I'm, it was a I'm great glad effort. I was here to watch it, so... <laughs> great <laughs> effort by a lot of people. And a great group of young men who are now Sac Joaquin section champions. Second time in four years that the Bruins have won it. And this team picture taken just a couple of minutes after the boys got their championship hats and the banner which will hang pride at the high school you know, hang proud at the high school just super proud of all of these guys and um, Shelby Baghetti there I can see her um, just a great great challenge in front of these guys they met it and they got what they wanted and now they get a bowl game so great job Bruins the community believed in you and we will continue to believe in the program for years to come because of what you inspired in what likely was one of the most improbable section title games in Bruin history.